If you walk into any tackle store in the country, there are thousands of flashy expensive baits for bass fishing, but there are few that catch them as consistently as a basic soft plastic worm. Watch as I use this simple technique to catch fish in 6 to 8 feet of water, casting around spawning sandy areas next to deep grass lines in the spring in Florida. felt pressure and I was sitting there and then I could just see my line just slowly. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> Look at the tub on that thing. My <laughs> goodness. Before we go forward, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and you can keep up with all the new content we put out on a weekly basis. Most of these fish, if they're not on the shore, they get closer the graph is. If you notice, I'm looking down at my graph, watching my bait come through the water, paying attention to the fish's reaction to my bait. Forward-facing sonar is truly a game changer in tracking fish movement. Oh, I got a giant one. Got a good one. Yeah. Notice, look it up. <laughs> when we come back out here on the grass edge, this one double. <laughs> nice double. <laughs> look at mine's about a four and a half. <coughs> no bite. I could just see my line swimming off. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh Jeff brother, cheers. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here my boy Joe. Look at that. Look at the pigs. Nice. Nice, sir. <laughs> awesome. Good job. That's your basic Texas rig setup. Several steps involved. I typically start with about a 15 pound test weight line. And for Florida fishing, that's kind of light. So don't you be thinking that that's too heavy and you want to downsize to 8 to 10. Start with about a 15 pound test. First things first, put on a sliding bobber stop on the line. That'll help you peg that 316th ounce bullet weight. I go with tungsten. Tungsten's a lot more sensitive and you're gonna feel the strike a lot more. You slide that 316th ounce tungsten on there, tie your worm hook. I like to go with an extra long EWG. This is a Berkley 19 fusion hook. You want that longer shank for your worm. What that does is allow you those short strikers to get pinned when your typical shorter EWG won't. So I go with a worm hook, typically 4 out 5 out. You rig the worm on there, Texas style, pierce the hook all the way through and then just skin hook the point. You want that tail riding up or down, not sideways or it'll spiral that bait through the water. Snug everything down with the bobber stop and there you go. Basic Texas rig setup for the speed worm and nothing catches them like June bug. That's the go-to setup in Florida. If you want to purchase the exact items I use and recommend, hit the link in the description below. During the bass spawn, you don't have to visually look at a bass to catch them around their beds. Just fan casting around shallow areas and dragging a worm across will get you in their strike zone and keep you bent.
keep it simple in the spring to enjoy some phenomenal days on the water. Tight lines. <laughs>